the playoffs? Don't talk about it. Playoffs? You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game. We're the Fantasy Addicts, and this is our playoff preview. We're going to be taking a look at some matchups going into weeks 14, 15, and 16 that are going to decide your fantasy season. Starting the AFC North. Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Uh, the only player I like from Cincinnati all season has been TJ. Hushman's out of right. You know, they are playing Indy and Cleveland in weeks 14 and 16. I'm not saying I love Cedric Benson. I didn't think at the beginning of the season that I was even <laughs> going to say that dude's name. But you have a spot on your bench, you're in a deep league, set, set down the waiver wire because everybody hates him for good reason. He might be worth a look. Cleveland. All right, for Cleveland, I definitely think Braylon Edwards deserves – a start in the playoffs. Yeah, they're playing a couple of really tough rundies first four, couple weeks, Tennessee and Philly. Uh, they got Cincy in week 16 now. So if you've been sitting on Jamal Lewis underperforming behind all year, might as well keep sitting on him and wait till that last game. Maybe Jamal will win you the title. Uh, you, uh, but you I do definitely like don't want to play Jamal against Tennessee. Nah. That's for sure. Or Philly even, but um, but maybe Cincy in that last week. Uh, Winslow could also be a player you could look at at the tight end position. All right, Pittsburgh. They got Dallas, Baltimore, and Tennessee in the playoffs. That is rugged for rough run Rough schedule, rough schedule. Particularly for the run game. Willie Parker's hurt. You only more, nice third down back. But against Baltimore and Tennessee in weeks 15 and 16, even Willie Parker against those teams, I don't like it, man. I think he's going to struggle. I mean, well, even with Dallas fighting for, you know, a playoff position, yeah. a wild card spot, yeah. I think they're going to be tough against the run, too. So you don't want to play Moeldy at all. With that in mind, Heinz Ward and San Antonio Holmes, who's finally starting to come on a little bit, are, are worth a look. I, I do not like Pittsburgh's offense in general, but um, if, if they can't run the ball, they're going to have to move it somehow. Big Ben is too inconsistent. San Antonio Holmes, same thing. So for Pittsburgh, the only guy I like is Heinz Ward. Baltimore has... Baltimore has a really tough playoff schedule. Rugged. They have Washington, Pittsburgh, and Dallas. Which is rough against the runs. Pittsburgh's given up 66 a game or something. Crazy. Crazy talk. So, uh, and plus, McGahee, Rice, McLean, all year long you've been getting screwed because the one you didn't start went to work. I don't like them at all. And I don't even really like any of their receivers. Derek Mason, he has been invisible for two out of three games, you know. And so, I, I say sit all of them. I don't like anybody from the Ravens. You know, Flacco has some value now, but going into the playoff schedule, it's going to be a little too rough for him. Let's move to the AFC East. Go with Buffalo. All right, Buffalo has Miami, followed by the Jets and Denver. Now, Miami has a pretty solid run D, and the Jets have a the really good run D. Jets have become nasty on the ground, like out of nowhere. Um, and they have Denver in Week 16. That is awesome for Marshawn Lynch. You, but you can start Lynch in that one. Yeah. The first two games, I'm not so sure. With that in mind, I would take a look at Lee Evans. You know, you're, you're not running against the Jets, and even though you can't run on Denver, you can also air it out on Denver. And so Lee Evans could be a guy that shows up big late in the year. Next, we got Miami, who has Buffalo, San Fran, and KC, one of the sweetest playoff schedules around. And for that reason, I like Ronnie Brown. You know, Ricky's been getting a lot of looks. I like him almost equally at this point. I loved Ronnie in the first half. I liked Ricky a lot the last few games. So I, I like both of them, considering they got KC in that play in that championship game. I also like Chad Pennington. And like, like in Chad, I mean, he's put up some nice numbers. He threw for almost 400 yards last week. And uh, so Camarillo's gone. Ted Ginn's the only receiver left standing. And so maybe even take a look at Ted Ginn late here. Next we have the New England Patriots. They have Seattle, Oakland, Arizona. Who's pretty good against the run? Oakland's terrible. They're giving up like a buck sixty a game or something. Seattle, you know, I don't think Seattle was that strong against the run either. Nah, they so like a buck twenty five or something. Down the stretch, you might want to give Sammy Morris a look. You know, Green Ellis has showed up well in Morris' absence, but Belichick loves him. They've been waiting on dude to get healthy. Now that he is, Green Ellis is getting little to no carries. And so by that, you know, last couple weeks, Oakland, you know, he might win a game for you in week fifteen. So definitely give him a look. Even Green Ellis, since Morris hasn't proven that he can stay on the field, if he's on your bench, leave him sitting right there. Uh, I like Matt Castle from New England. He's mm -hmm. had, I think, two straight 400-yard games. Yep, and you can move the ball through there on all three of those teams, especially yeah. with Moss and Welker. New York Jets going against San Francisco, Buffalo, and Seattle. All right, for the Jets, it's not a bad uh, playoff schedule there, weeks 14, 15, 16 for the fantasy playoffs. It's really not. You know, I really like Thomas Jones and Leon Washington. I love Thomas Jones going down the stretch. None of those teams give up a huge amount of numbers, but none of them are run stoppers. Brett, he's starting to look like an MVP candidate with the win over uh, Tennessee last week. You know, not making all those mental mistakes that he was earlier in the year. Um, Coles and Cotri have emerged as actual receivers in the NFL, not just names on paper. I mean, that Coles has been looking like Brett's favorite target, too, so uh, down the stretch. I like Lavernius. Next is AFC South. Take a look at Jacksonville. Jacksonville. They have Chicago, Green Bay, and Indy. I like Mojo. 
I like Fred Taylor too, man. He has shown nothing this year to make me like him. But look at his December. For like the past five years, <laughs> that old joker goes to work in December. When he gets so old. Maybe Maurice Jones Drew tweaks an ankle. Fred Taylor thinking, uh, he, I just heard him on the radio saying that he probably won't be in Jacksonville next year, so he's playing for contracts someplace. Keep an eye out for Freddie T. Uh, no receivers. Matt Jones is unreliable and strung out. Next is Tennessee. They have Cleveland, Houston, and Pittsburgh. Uh, starts off good, ends up real bad for the running back. Aside so from Pitt in Week 16, Chris Johnson and Lendo White could run rampant on Cleveland and Houston. I mean, they, they could really get you there to that championship game. Now against Pitt, I'd almost sit those jokers. Pitt only gives up 66. That's like 40 for Chris Johnson and 26 for <laughs> Jack on Lindale. And who knows if they'll score because Pitt only gives up 14 a game or something. So, uh, And, again, receivers, Justin Gage, completely hit or miss. Not what you want in the playoffs. Now, I do like Bo Scaife at tight end. You know, you know, if you need a tight end, Bo Scaife is a good option. Next we have Houston. They have Green Bay, Tennessee, and Oakland. And aside from week 15, that's a great matchup for Steve Slate. So weeks 14 and 16, Slate, that's a good matchup. Week 15, you sit him against Tennessee. I'm on Green. You just got sent to the IR. Slate was all they had. They, I think they signed Darius Walker. You know, and so uh, Steve Slayton could have really nice playoffs. And, of course, Andre Johnson and Kevin Walters, who's emerged as a, a, a starter. Yeah. Every week starter. Indy. They have Cincinnati, Detroit, and Jacksonville. Joseph Adai is going to win somebody some money. Joseph Adai should have a huge fantasy playoffs. Those three weeks, I expect them to have big performances. If he can stay healthy, which has been a problem for him. Um, I, I don't know about Dominic Rose. If Adai goes down, they, uh, you know, they, they don't run the ball that much. You know, they're, they're moving the ball through the air. And so, Wayne, Anthony Gonzalez and Harrison, I just, you know, they've been so, so far. They're, they're up and down. Actually, I like Dallas Clark more than I like either one of those two guys. That's a tight end position. But I also like the Indianapolis defense Definitely. for the playoffs. And they're probably on the waiver wire in your league. So this might be a good time to go pick them up if you think your team D is not going to perform. Next, we have the AFC West. And we're going to start with the Denver Broncos. Just drop one to Oakland. I could not believe that. Maybe we uh, should call them the Inver Broncos because there's no D in Denver. No D. <laughs> <laughs> Peyton Hill, this is in Denver. And that, that joker, third string running back from Arkansas. Guys named Peyton can play football pretty good. I'm starting to figure that out. So, Casey, Carolina, and Buffalo. I like that for Peyton Hillis. Uh, Carolina and Buffalo are all right against the run, but Casey is terrible. Casey you know? is one of the worst teams in the league, next to last against the run. And there's just nobody else. They signed Tatum Bell. All he's good at is stealing Rudy Johnson stuff. He is <laughs> terrible, man. And so, Peyton Hillis, give him a shot. Um, Brandon Marshall and Royal, you know, I really, I really like Brandon Marshall down the stretch. I know it's been a few games lately where he hasn't been performing, you know, up to up to par. But I think he's going to turn it on down the stretch in the playoffs. You know, you you can't pass on or on Buffalo and KC. Carolina's tough. I just don't know what to make of this slide with Jay Cutler. KC, Kansas City Chiefs. They have Denver, San Diego, and Miami. It's not a bad schedule at all. I mean, you can run on Denver. You can run on San Diego. Do they have the back to take advantage, though? That's the thing. I, I'm not sold on Larry Johnson. If you have him on your team, keep him. Keep him on the team. And if you see some signs of life here in the next, I guess, week, next week, <laughs> then you might want to give him a look. Wimbo, Tony Gonzalez, I mean, they're solid. Every week start throughout the season. I like both those guys. What about, right what about Thigpen? Thigpen is, has impressive stats for the last six games. The last few weeks of the season, you can move the ball against Denver, but I think San Diego could get it together. Miami might, might get them. I mean, it's still KC, you know, so uh, with a grain of salt again. Next we have Oakland going against San Diego, New England, and Houston. Now, McFadden's back. He had two one-yard touchdown runs. Two touchdowns last week. Um, Fargus went for over 100 yards last week. So if they were one guy, they'd be awesome. <laughs> but they're not. They have two guys. And, and so... I don't love either one of them, even though it's a schedule that, you know, with San Diego and Houston, you can run all over Houston. Um, New England will shut them down. I, don't, I really don't like either guy, except in that last game. San Diego isn't looking a lot better for the playoffs. Um, they have a favorable schedule. Oakland, KC, Tampa Bay. Oh, I, I love LT, you know, especially weeks 14, 15. Week 16, uh, you know, if you think he's going to get some catches, you might want to play him. But aside from LT, you know, the receivers have really taken a step back. I think Chris Chambers, Vincent Jackson, all those guys – uh, are not playing strong right now. Antonio Gates, of course, always. Uh, but even Phillip Rivers, you know, I think he'll take advantage of Oakland and KC, though. I like Rivers, and I like Gates, but, you know, I'm with you on the receivers. They've just been too inconsistent. Yep. You can't rely on any of those guys, so stay away from them. All right. 
That's AFC.